So we have now Ashim Kiani. He belongs to the Mechanical Engineering Department of the Eastern Mediterranean University in Turkey. Uh, his main research is focused on dynamic systems and control engineering for machinery and system optimization. Now he's going to present a work on design of an embedded system based on machine vision for autonomous weight control application. Thank you for your very good introduction. Well, actually, I'm currently postdoc associate at Artemis University, Antalya, Turkey, and this is the work that we have done. A part, the main part of the work that we have done for to propose a system uh, for real-time detection on a single board computer. I'm, I'm sure that is very controversial for many of you, and I hope that I can answer your questions as well. As we all know, uh, good uh, precision agricultural system should be environmental friendly and also the quality and quantity both should be very high and the human intervention, as you know, the many uh, jobs such as uh, the weed, uh, weeding is very labor intensive. So the cost and human intervention should be minimized and the, there are some uh, unpredicted nature and uh, there are some parameters involved that we have to deal with. So, uh, quickly go to the objective. Uh, we have designed a discriminator, uh, a system for discrimination between uh, crop, like maize plants and the wheat plants. And the challenge, the real challenge is, we need to do it for uh, in row and also for a real time job, only using a two dimensional view. So the merits, as you know, the uh, single board computers such as Raspberry Pi and its camera module are very cheap and uh, portable, um, small size, low power consumption. Is it uh, very straightforward for implementation for agriculture? Because in agriculture, as the uh, in the keynote speaker uh, we heard uh, about the convergence, we have the problem of uh, implementation because we have the technologies all around in the computer engineering and also electrical, mechanical, but we need to implement it. And for the, uh, the, this detection is the core, core of the main part as the uh, weed, uh, weeding system. <clears throat> so we sometimes sacrifice some accuracy for the sake of uh, minimizing the delay, as you know. So uh, going more quickly, the algorithm is basically a face detection because uh, our proposal was a platform, whether this platform can work uh, for the real-time job or not. So it is a very simple system, very simple algorithm, and uh, uh, we did our best to use the simplicity for that one. Since my background is mechanical and agriculture, <coughs> and the classifier, to classify between the weeds and the crop plants uh, is a uh, Open CV casket classifier. The same, exactly the same thing that we use for the face detection. And this is the uh, schematic uh, view of the algorithm that we use. Um, first, as you know, first we first we uh, after getting the image acquisition. Can you see this? Yeah. Uh, we have some quality uh, alteration. <coughs> we reduce the quality of the image, the resolution of the image, uh, in order to, because it, as you may know, the Raspberry Pi and single board computers, uh, capacities are very uh, limited. And then we choose uh, the region of interest. Uh, of course, uh, vegetation, color uh, thresholding, and then dilating and eroding happens. And the main part is here, the cascade training. Then we have uh, to track the object in the, as you know, the object comes in the picture in the, from the very top right to the uh, very uh, uh, bottom left. So we try to see whether the pixel uh, numbers and the ranks are higher or not. And then we don't have the actuator here, but we try to uh, uh, generate a signal for the actuator. And explaining this part, well, this is the most important part that uh, the challenge is here and uh, both positive and also negative samples uh, you may 
I believe that you know you are introduced to familiar with the concept of positive and negative uh, pictures, samples. Um, both are very important how to take the pictures <laughs> of uh, there. So within the samples, uh, we um, try to uh, segment as in algorithm we said the same thing that the system sees should be uh, uh, should be used for the training as well. And we remove the unclear um, images and the pixel sizes. As you know, the pixel sizes are uh, comparing the last presentation that we were talking about the uh, like, like thousand uh, or one thousand hundred. I'm sorry, uh, ten thousand pixels. Uh, over here we have hundred by hundred, and this is very low because the uh, capacities of the, the utility is limited. And then we go for um, methods such as local binary pattern or some others, and uh, we come up with the casket classifier. And this is it. This is what I'm talking about, uh, camera module. And uh, behind you have the Raspberry Pi. The rest are to connect uh, an adapter for HDMI to RGB to, to, to see the, what happens. And over here we have from another view, and this is the Raspberry Pi, and this is the power bank, the same thing that we use for our Android cell phones, and you can use it for even uh, long time, for almost forever, 11, 12 hours. And over here there is some power supply for the monitor, so for the uh, real uh, application we won't need such a thing, this part. And what about the conditions are very important as the uh, in the audience, somebody asked. The, of course, the lighting conditions are very significant for this job. This is the test day. The trainings happened on the uh, other, over here, these are for the trainings. The training I used these images. But on the test day, uh, we had almost uh, perfect uh, lighting conditions, since we, have, we don't have shadows, but uh, for this job, uh, you will see that it is not important, interesting. And this is the, uh, the same thing that the Raspberry Pi, the camera sees. It sees the uh, two uh, crop rows and the weed infestation, infestation between the two uh, maize, uh, maize rows, maize plant rows. And the infestation is somehow not very much, something like moderate. And uh, as I said, uh, everything here is simple. I just use uh, a binary image to filter and segment the vegetation color. And then we use, as you know, the, we uh, equalize the histogram of the picture in order to, uh, have, um, to have a more clear view from the, for the leaves. These are the pictures that the, uh, on the very uh, bottom right, you see this is exactly what this, how the system, uh, how the Raspberry Pi sees after the uh, alteration and the things. Uh, of course the image is little, uh, the quality is little more realist, but this is the view how the system, how the machine uh, sees the field. And this is the real-time performance. On the, on the middle, uh, you see the uh, maize plants are uh, singled by the uh, red singled. And I'm, I'm sorry for the quality of the video, it's supposed to be better. And this is the, uh, uh, we, we got, got the, I got the movie from behind the tractor. On the uh, left side, on the, uh, you see the signals generated uh, for the future uh, uh, usage application to have a machine like an actuator, like a, a hoeing actuator to have a weed control. Uh, uh, the results are very interesting. Uh, I will tell you, I, I'm sure that it will be interest of you and over here uh, I'd like to invite all of you to get involved in such a interesting field. So about the results, what we experienced is that uh, detection only for one maize row, one row, is far better than multi, uh, multi-scrub row. 
And also uh, using this camera uh, settings such as uh, 40 degrees uh, from the, uh, against the horizon and 70 centimeters height from the soil surface is the, almost the best for this application. And we are still working on it to get it closer uh, to the, to the uh, seedlings. And the soil distance in Antalya, in Turkey, uh, south of Turkey, uh, mines are planned uh, with uh, the minimum distance of uh, 15 centimeters. So it works for that one uh, as the best, but if they are closer, you see a problem. And the lead stages, of course, uh, for seedlings more than, uh, more than four, that will be a problem. The velocity, of course, uh, we couldn't. We couldn't see velocity uh, more than eight kilometers per hour as a uh, acceptable velocity. You, uh, because if you go that that much fast, uh, most of the uh, mice plants will be classified as the uh, as the wheat and the actuator. Actuator actually, as you as you definitely know, actuator works. But as soon as it sees a mice plant, it stops out of the way. So it leaves the, uh, we, uh, the crop plant intact. But if you go faster, it destroys all the uh, crop plants. Oh, uh, crop. Give me one minute. OK. All right, thank you. <laughs> On the last one. <laughs> all right. OK. Uh, last one in the last day. <laughs> Or the region of interest, of course, for the Raspberry Pi uh, couldn't be, uh, cannot be choose more than uh, 150 by uh, 200 pixels. And you have to be very careful that something that is very interesting about the negative images. Negative images even play more uh, significant and key role, more than the positive ones. Uh, what the par which parameters are dis uh, disturbance uh, disturbance uh, uh, leaf. When you have the leaves uh, grown in perpendicular to the camera, you don't see the stem. So the plants cannot be viewed uh, as a plant or as a crop plant, like maize plant. Of course, like over here, these are the pictures that are classified as bad pictures, the worst case scenario, especially in the top two. The machine cannot, by 100 by 100 or 50 by 50 uh, view uh, pixel, cannot uh, consider the, the, uh, the top two as the, uh, the same similar mice species. The other thing, of course, the intensive sunshine lighting, and also, as I said uh, just uh, before, multi row view is not good. These are considered as good ones since we are running out of time. Uh, this, this is important. Plant shadow has no contribution to the air. I'm telling you uh, with a great uh, confidence. Tractor vibrations has no uh, contribution to the air, almost zero, minor contribution. Dilating and eroding the computational load, nothing. Resolution variation as well, no load, uh, almost no load. And the electric power all, um, always important for the uh, agricultural off-road systems, and uh, you can use it, if, if you have a solar, even the cloudy day, you can use it even for almost forever. So in conclusion, we are going to say that uh, our uh, discriminator on Raspberry Pi worked, but of course the accuracy uh, still is a problem, and uh, what we did is that the, our training was on different fields, on the different lighting conditions, and the detection, the test day, uh, was on a different. And uh, so I'm going to conclude in this way that it is possible, uh, feasible, uh, using that, that one, uh, the, uh, implementation of this technology on a very single board computer that is like uh, totally the whole system might be less than $85, that is, uh, that, that dazzles uh, in, in our uh, research. But it is not mature yet, as according to uh, Dr. Mitibai and his colleagues. Thank you very much for your attention.
see you using the Raspberry Pi camera. Here you have the rolling shutter effects. So how did that um, affect your recordings when you're driving eight kilometers per hour? Is it rolling shutter? R rolling shutter on the camera. <coughs> I, I, I couldn't understand. Did you have the rolling shutter on the camera? Did that affect your measurements? Shutter? Well, uh, what we experience on the field, uh, it works forever. You can use the camera and it uh, sees the... Oh, no. uh, I meant that you have... You can see some kind of jitter in the image if you're going very fast. So I was just uh, wondering how, if you saw that when you were running at 8 kilometers per hour, looking at these small planes. I think in the video I have just shown that one. I know that it was very controversial, but uh, over here we don't go what, uh, with uh, eight kilometers per hour, as you can see, no. a little further. The, the velocity is not that much over here, but I could take a movie and uh, uh, what, for eight kilometers per hour. The, um, Fluctuations does not contribute. Be sure, I'm telling you. I think you can discuss about the rolling shutter later. Are there any questions? Other questions? Well, I think that I need to uh, respond to this question because it's a very important part of the, this study. Are you satisfied with my answer or yet you are suspect? I think we can take it offline. <laughs> no, because this is, you know. Uh, the challenge, as I said, is that, uh, yes, you're right, on 8 kilometers per hour, we have fluctuation, yeah. right? The problem was not the, the speed, it was about the technology of the yes. shutter, yes. so this is a specific matter. Uh, Look, uh, just let me add, add something to yeah, this. Sorry, the time is finished. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the frame rate of your uh, calculations of how many images per, per second can it have? Well, uh, the, uh, I don't remember exactly to be perfectly honest with you, uh, but uh, I myself uh, used a positive, like a slip, a slip function in the C++ uh, that uh, considers uh, like 15 centimeters, according to 15 centimeters. So over here you see that the system sometimes pauses, it does not continuously go, so you see a frame, and then uh, it goes for the next. So that's what uh, frame per second SPS is not that much important in our study because uh, we are already have uh, dealing with the, you know, the first frame comes and it processes and then the next frame, the next frame comes. So the, what is important is the uh, processing time uh, for uh, this reason. Okay. Thank you. Okay.